What's up, Cal Gang? All right, so we got the statics problem here. So we got this 50 pound cylinder, uh, and it's attached to a barrel, and uh, it's attached to a roller, which has a force P applied to it. So that P is 100 pounds, and that tells us that it's the maximum force that you can apply for the system to stay at equilibrium. So what we're trying to find is this theta here. What is the degree at that angle? So let's just go ahead and try to solve this. So what we're gonna end up with is pretty much a big system of equations. Um, so we have a couple unknowns and we're just gonna try to solve them. So what we wanna find first of all is I drew this force body diagram already because this is kind of the easy part and I solved the previous part of this question in the last video, so check that out already. Um, so I drew this force body diagram. So when this weight is pulled over this barrel, uh, there's a friction applied to it and that makes it so that this rope can be str stronger or weaker and the friction makes it so it's still at equilibrium. So we're told that the P is at its maximum force um, before that this thing is at equilibrium, which means that this tension is gonna be greater than this weight. And we are not gonna be able to find that tension, but we're gonna be able to get rid of it uh, using a technique. So let's start with the equation that we're gonna use for this. And that equation is tension two is equal to tension one E to the coefficient stack friction times beta. So we know that tension one, or so the tension two is gonna be our tension here. This tension is gonna be on the left side of our equation. That's because this is the greater tension and this is the lesser tension. We know that this tension is gonna be greater than this because it's maximum. So, and then W is gonna go here, E to the coefficient of stack friction, and then beta is our angle. So the angle that this goes over is 90 degrees plus whatever this theta is. So beta is equal to 90 degrees plus theta. Beta is what we're looking for. That's what we're trying to solve. So how are we gonna find this? Well, let's just go ahead and plug it into our equation here. Tension is equal to, so weight is 50 pounds, E, oh, uh, beta here, to 0.3. And then, so we need this in radians. So 90 uh, degrees is pi over two radians plus theta. So in this equation, we have two unknowns. We have tension and theta. So we don't know this and we don't know that. And we can't solve yet. So what we need to do is write another equation so we can have a system of equations. So what's our next equation gonna look like? Well, well let's go ahead and draw a force body diagram here. So we did that already. So just starting at this point, this is our force body diagram. We know that whatever this tension is has to be uh, related to this P, right? If this P is at its max, then this tension has to be related to that. So let's, let's do that by doing some of the forces in the Y direction. We know it's equal to zero because we're at equilibrium, so it's minus P plus tension sine of theta. Right, so then if we move one of these over, you're gonna get P is equal to tension sine of theta. Divide by sine of theta, you're gonna get tension is equal to P divided by sine of theta, P divided by sine of theta. So there we go, we have two equations and two unknowns, tension and theta, tension and theta, and we know P, so let's go ahead and plug that in. P is 100, right? So two equations, two unknowns, we can solve this. So we're looking for theta, so let's go ahead and cancel out the T's. So I wrote it like this because then the T's can easily cancel out. So we're just gonna set the two t's equal to each other because we know they're the same thing. So it's gonna be 50 e to the 0 0.3 pi over two plus theta is equal to 100 over sine of theta. So we're gonna multiply the sine theta over and then the 50 and the 100 are gonna kind of cancel out. So you're gonna get sine of theta e to the 0 0.3 pi over two plus theta is equal to two. So then let's go ahead and move this two over. So it's gonna get sine of theta e to 0 0.3 pi over two plus theta minus two is equal to zero. So now we have this crazy equation and I, I, you know, I challenge you to try to find a point. All right, I challenge you to try to set up an equation to find where this theta makes this equation true. But we're looking for the theta that this makes the equation true because we know that that is the, gonna be your theta. So you're left with this crazy equation. What are we gonna do about it? Well, uh, there's a couple techniques. So we're engineers, right? We're in an engineering class. 
So sometimes you just can't do the math and you gotta have a calculator. So you can plug it into an online calculator or what I did is I had my graphing calculator. I plugged in the equation here and I found where this is equal to zero. And you find where this is equal to zero and that finds where your theta is. So your first theta, where it's equal to, tr where it's true, is equal to 1.11. So this is in radians because we're in radians here and radians here. And make sure your calculator's in radians too. So then if you take this radians and you convert it to degrees, you're gonna get 63.5 degrees, which is your answer. So you go, so that's how you solve this problem. It gets tricky at the end here when you have to plug it into a calculator. But of course, everything else is just kind of um, knowing where your friction comes from and drawing a force body diagram. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. I'll see you in the next video. Uh, check out my playlist and yeah, bye.